Roberto Moreno, quite a mile mark, his 99th career. Oh, he spun it right in front of us. Oh, hope he doesn't get collected. Big clouds of dust. Jimmy Vassar goes through. You can't see a thing right in front of us. Stay left, everybody. Stay to the left. Oh, and Tagliani's taken way, way to the left. Now the dust in front, and Roberto's jumping out. I would have waited a bit longer and stayed in that protection. Yeah, I think the cars are all gone now, Guy, but there's, uh, there's George Ayn. He didn't make it through there. He got off on the dirt on the left-hand side of the track, and he is off the road. And there is uh, Roberto Moreno. He's clambering out of that car. You can see where he pulled those tyres out from that tyre barrier. Brand new tyre barrier here at Laguna Seca. Well, don't tell me he's going to put them back himself. <laughs> yeah, well, that's... Uh, well, good to yeah. see he's safe there because it was absolutely blind as uh, it, it is all clay and dust around the, the side of this track. And uh, Roberto got it, uh, just got off line of, of four. And now the pits are open. Coming into turn four, you'll be able to see the cloud of dust there. And Jordan goes through through the smoke there, and he just lost his bearings a little bit. And uh, ooh, that wasn't uh, terribly bright, was it? But he lost control of the car. He got it on the dirt. And that is the result, the end of the day for Michel Jordan Jr. We've heard that he's a uh, seen.